Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt and this is my wife Samantha. Hello! And today we are watching Rocky V. What you think of the first four Rockies? <laughs> I've loved the Rocky series so far. Yeah. I think each one kind of offers something a little different, which is like refreshing. Definitely Rocky 1 and Rocky 2 had a very similar vibe. Rocky 3 was kind of its own thing and Rocky 4 is kind of its own thing. And as the Rockies progressed, They've gotten a little bit crazier, I guess. That's not the best word to say, but like Rocky IV, obviously with the robot and stuff like yeah. that. But I feel like the general consensus is that Rocky V is the least favorite. Yeah, a lot of commenters are saying Rocky V is not their favorite and then they love Rocky VI, but I feel like we've enjoyed all of them. And I feel like as long as we have Rocky and Adrian, then I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll enjoy it, but we're going in with much lower expectations, but we didn't want to just skip it. We wanted to kind of complete everything, especially moving into Creed and Creed 2. Yeah, and there were a handful of commenters as well that did say they did love this film. Yeah. So um, I think it's just probably different, but three and four were also very different. You're right. Um, so I'm excited regardless. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagrams, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. All right, back to this type of intro. Got our quick recap. Yeah. Yeah, he was just destroyed in this fight. Even knowing how this ends, it's like, ugh. Yeah, it's like, please stop. Yeah, this whole intro is just Rocky getting abused. This seems so much worse than, I know. What, I than what I remember. <laughs> this is more what I remember. <laughs> yeah. And a big right hand by Rocky Balboa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here's your brief nudity. <laughs> Came through like oh wow, we're just picking up right where we left off. Yeah. No talking. Yeah, what is it, baby? What do you need? Get Adrian. I mean, he took an absolute beating. What's wrong? Mick said sometimes he fights so hard that he was thinking that he broke something. I can't stop my hands from shaking. Oh man. I gotta get a doctor. No, I'm just, see a doctor? I'm just tired. I just wanna go home, Mick. Mick. Okay. I mean, all of this beating has to catch up eventually. I don't see the kid. Where's the kid? Ain't he here? <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, Slugger. How you doing? It's definitely a different kid, right? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> How you doing at school? I made the honor roll. You're beautiful, homie. Hi. <laughs> I mean, Rocky seems much better now. Yeah. Oh, you know, it was very good. It, it was great people. I mean, I, I didn't understand what they were speaking. <laughs> there are rumors of physical complications after the fight. Those were rumors. He's in perfect physical condition. Oh. Recommended that boxing be banned. Do you agree with the doctors? You know, absolutely. I, I, I think the doctor should never fight, no. <laughs> America's own Rocky Balboa. How are you? How are you? Who the hell's this guy? I'd like to digress from the questions a bit, and uh, I'd like to ask you, Union Kane, a chance to challenge you for the heavyweight championship. He just got back from fighting. He doesn't even have it anymore. Yeah. What I have on this paper is the largest guarantee ever offered to a champion. He doesn't care about the money. Yeah. Excuse me, my husband is retired. Don't you consider this a public responsibility to respond now rather than later? No. You're my Adrian. You're always there, you know? And my kid, having you... It's like being born all over again. Are you gonna give us something to write? Thank what do you, you very say? much. I appreciate it. What an asshole reporter. Don't worry. You'll get him. He literally just got off the plane. Yeah, I mean, Rocky doesn't even have the title anymore. Yeah, exactly. He just fought for no money. Uh, how about a homecoming dance with your old man? No, don't be silly. You Ooh. should rest. Well, maybe I'll take you upstairs and violate you like a parking meter. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jeez. Get quarter. <laughs> oh, you'll wish. <laughs> Why'd you let him talk dirty like that? Just talk dirty like that. <laughs> I hear somebody call for their old man. Did you do this? <laughs> hey, sleep time, kid, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that's it. Excellent. Good. You know, the fish was a lot bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for you to get healthy and everything. This is great how you do this. I don't know when you learned this. He's always so nice. Who's this? <laughs> Whoa. That's Madame DuPont, my French teacher. Really? She teach naked? I wouldn't show this to your mother because she, she, she don't understand French too good. <laughs> Better cover that one up. <laughs> I like that he has a picture or a poster on his wall. Yeah. Madame who? Madame foot's caught in the door. That's an old joke. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? Look what I found in your ear. Russian money. Russian money? Having me was like being born again? What did you mean? You got the A side of life and the B side of life. I'm like on the B side. When I see you having all these things that I didn't have, I enjoy it a little bit. It's like, hey, look at my face. Do I look like a raccoon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do a little. Really? You want to see the other guy's knuckles? <laughs> <laughs> Glad you're home. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. It will play tomorrow, okay? Maybe you can show me your English teacher. <laughs> I feel like Rocky is just happy and content. I know, but I'm nervous. I feel like there's definitely something brewing. You're accountant to crook, not me! I did what I thought was right! He Boy. gave power of attorney to our accountant. Sign a tax extension! Tax extension! That was a power of attorney! Oh shit, did they just lose all of their money? What's going on? The money, the money, everything, it's all gone. Oh my god. Polly. And unfortunately for you and everybody in this room, his deals fell through because the market dried up. He didn't pay your tax returns in six years, and the mortgage on your house hasn't been paid in months. What? The only thing you have that's not encumbered is a gymnasium that was willed to your son by a Mickey Gold Mill. Oh my gosh. Out pops a criminal record of Rockies for assault in connection with Lone Shark. Oh, what? Fighting's the ticket. I said he's retired. We're here because of you. Rockies never fought. Just for money. Mm -hmm. You tell him I'll fight Kane. I don't care. Anywhere, anytime. No, That's what you Rocky. want? God. You know you have to see a doctor. Hey, dude, I don't need to see no doctor. I gotta fight, okay? I got problems, I gotta fight. This is the worst reason he's ever fought for. Because of the continuous violent blows to the head, hole in the membrane separating the ventricles. What? It means that you've suffered some damage to the brain. How long until he recovers? The effects are irreversible. Irreversible brain damage and no money. No, I just fought the best fight of my life. I just did that, you know? And... You suffered severe brain trauma. Well, he could be wrong. Anybody could be wrong. Rocky, I don't care about the money. It's you, please. No one has to know, doctor, right? It'll be strictly confidential. I mean, it better be, doctor. Patient confidentiality. It's gonna get leaked. There's no way. <laughs> yeah. Super interesting how they took his fighting style from the previous four movies where he just gets hammered and now he actually does have irreversible brain damage. Are you done? So. Looks like he's about to go to the B side of life. I'll get it all back. We just gotta stick together. You know, Mickey used to say a fight ain't over until you heard the bell. Little bit of the old Rocky. Yeah, he's just going back to Rocky 1. Hey, it still fits. It's kind of depressing. I know what you mean. Oh, what's this doing in your ear? <laughs> oh, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? I, I thought I'd go to Andy's. I'm enjoying how much Rocky and Adrian were getting, but it's also super sad. Yeah, I lost everything. Wow. So that's the only thing he has? He's totally abandoned. People die sometimes when they don't want to live no more. Oh, I got no reason to go on. When I leave you, you'll not only know how to fight, be able to take care of yourself outside the ring. I think he was just so important to Rocky. This is the favorite thing that I have on this earth. Now I'm giving it to you. Get up, you son of a bitch! Mickey loves you. Miss Mickey. Yeah. Maybe you could start the gym up again and make money that way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He should be a coach. 
Moving back into Polly's house. Welcome back, It's only, only temporary, man. I mean, at least they did have a fallback plan. Yeah. I mean, handle your husband's career and the money will pour in. You can start living like human beings again. We're living like human beings. You ought to try it sometime. Oh, my damn, Adrian. Hey, Yo. Rocky, how you doing, man? How you doing? Good to see you back in the neighborhood. Uh, thanks. Great to be back. Neighborhood looks kind of shitty. Yeah, I remember it being a little cleaner, right? Rocky, remember me? I'm Bubba's mother. You used to use his head for a punching bag. Yeah, he had a nice head. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Everybody's got to hustle, you know? These, these, these kids ain't like, listen to me, they ain't like no personalities. It's just like Rocky One when he was walking with people and giving advice and helping people out. I think you can handle it, don't you think? If you want here, I can go here. I'm not scared, really. Really? It wasn't very convincing. No. It's okay to be scared. I'll see you later. Okay, kid. Here's the front door. <laughs> hey, wait, what, what's this? Goodness gracious, where'd this come from? Thanks, Dad. That's such a good dad. Mr. Balboa. Yeah? How you doing? My name's Tommy Gunn. You a fighter? Yeah, I'm a fighter. Got and now that I'm 20, I'd just like to show you what I got. Mr. Robert paying Rocky for Balboa. Yeah. Oh. Paying for some training. Good to see you again, friend. How yeah, you doing? how you doing? My health is fine. What more? Aw. Yeah. It's a hell of a payday. Well, you know, I'm officially expired. No. People love comebacks. Not like your Mark Twain once said. Who's Twain? He was a painter. <laughs> Right, I ain't right. emotionally involved. Hey, hold it, hold it. Hold the bullshit. Yeah, he's not emotionally involved. Whoop now, this is your medical report. It's not so good, but we can work around it. Whoa. You agree to fight Kane and Georgia and guarantee you get licensed in any country around the world. The time is hot. The deal is hot. Caliente. Oh, here comes Adrian. This is a tremendous opportunity. Opportunity for who? For you to make money, for him to be disabled? Rocky, they don't care about you. This guy's for sure a talker. You say you want a champion's dude and do it, and I'll make you so much money, you can swim in it. He's done! Man, he's gonna fight Duke just for the way he talks to Adrian. Maybe we ought to sign Mrs. Balboa to fight Kane, huh? Looks like she's the one with the cojones in the fight. Oh, my God. Yo, you don't talk like that in front of my wife, you know? There ain't no park bench, boy. I'm glad he stuck around. Yeah. The kid. Why do you want to go back to the same place you started from? I gotta do it, but you don't gotta do it. Oh, I could be close to you. All right, yeah. Okay, maybe better get inside, okay? George, do we ever leave this place? I don't know! Mind if I talk to you now? My head's a little busy right now. Mm. Yeah, poor guy. He offered, like, what, 400 bucks to train? I'll fight that boy right yeah. now. You'll fight who, I tell you? Where, I tell you? And how, I tell you? Don't aggravate the hand that feeds you, huh? Mikey you should just take the payday, take one punch, and then Polly throws in the towel. Give me my coat! I'm not kidding around anymore! No way! Jeez. Stop! Oh, kids suck. Beep it, hide, zip it. Oh, shit. Nice. Yeah, he turned this around. Is there some place I can change? In there. Oh, cool. Yeah. You remember Tommy Gunn? Oh, yeah, he yeah. He says he wants to fight. I tell him to get married. Why? <laughs> Let's see what you got there, kid. What's the cajonis? Oh, no, cajonis. <laughs> cajonis is Latin for Spanish nuts. Yo, right. <laughs> you got the headgear? Nah, I don't need one. Mm. Yeah. Wonder how good this Tommy guy is. Jab now. Oh. Oh. Tommy. Whoa. Oh. It ain't no law in the dark. Go side to side. That's it. Oh. Hey, man, take it easy, man. It's called sparring now. Go on easy. Whoa. Whoa, Tommy. What did I tell you? Hey, hey, Tommy. Oh. Hey. Go to what the fuck? Tommy, are you crazy or something? Huh? Hey, what's the matter with you, man? He speaks of opportunity, Rocco. I mean, he kicks ass, but... Man, I'm sorry, but what do you think? What do I think? I don't think you listen too good. How about you try to manage me? Gentleman that owned this place. That was a manager, but me, I was always the managed. Aw, come on, Rocky. I mean, he clearly has skills. He just needs to be... Managed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised how well he kind of... Got the gym back up and running. Yeah. I ain't like the other kids around here. Hmm, you know, for an Italian kid, you ain't got a bad butt. <laughs> what? Oh, he made a friend. <laughs> yeah. How come you don't have arthritis? Yo, ain't I got enough for oh, you know it's... Oh, Tommy's still here. Ever yeah. since I put on gloves, I've been waiting to meet you. Anything you want me to do, I'll do. And if I can't, I'll bust my butt trying. I believe him. I like him. But just one shot. Are you hungry? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so why does this kid smack your face for, huh? It really doesn't so, matter, Dad. What do you think is right? A baseball bat across the face of your 
Please. <laughs> We're trying to raise our son so he can handle his problems with his mind. Will you teach me how to fight? A baseball bat would be nice. <laughs> Jeez, Polly. I think it'd be so bad if I taught him how to throw a few deadly punches. <laughs> deadly punches. <laughs> a few deadly punches. He tied me down and he whipped me so bad I couldn't walk for a week. She couldn't do anything. Oh, my God. Now, when I get in the ring, it's like uh, all I see is him. Hey, old Tommy, at least you had an old man to knock out, you know? <laughs> what a dinner. One day you can punch out your pup. Hey, you old pup. <laughs> I can find some place to stay. No, I, it's okay, you know, it's just for a little while, you know. I'm not changing no sheets. Since when have you ever? <laughs> hey, Junior, your plumbing don't leak, do it? Polly, you probably piss the bed every night. When'd you get a chance to do this, kid? After school, it's no big deal. You know, one of my favorite objects, Rocky Marciano's cufflink. Yeah. The real Rocky Marciano? You know, you got me thinking about Mickey. I want to show you something. Ah, uh, kid's going to feel left out. Hey, Dad, I met this really nice girl today. Oh, yeah, really, it's wonderful. Right back with you, I just want to tell Tommy a few things, honey. Does this mean you're going to manage me? Absolutely. Hey, home team. Okay. All right. Oh, man, you just got, like, a son replacement. Especially since little Rocky Jr. was interested in learning how to fight, too. Father, this is my new friend, Tommy Gunn. If you could throw us down a couple blessings, you know, like... In nome do Padre, your spirito santo, e così sia. Love when he does that. A tanto piacere, every time. Okay, hey, I'll see you in church. Hey, don't hurt having an angel in your corner, you know. Aw, oh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> Oof, Tommy fights just like Rocky. <laughs> Block some, Tommy. Get off the rope. This it's, guy's killing me. I feel weak. Weak. Shut up. Listen to me. You're scared. He's scared. You're both scared. It ain't all muscle. It's all heart. Heart and fire. Heart and fire. Okay. Now you do it. Ooh, I feel like Tommy's gonna get really hurt. Oh my god. Alright. I was a little nervous there, but. Ooh, yeah. Keep reaching. Oh. Jeez, while his son just keeps getting bruise after bruise. Oh, I'm glad someone's kinda. Helping him? Yeah. A Boa's pupil. Come on, kid, just focus. Yeah. Tommy's a monster. Yeah. He's still getting picked on. It's crazy that Polly is noticing yeah. more than Rocky is. Come on, bring it up. Yes! Nice. Wow, he's front page now. Oh, and the shorts? Dig, dig, dig. Madison Square Garden. He's doing good though. Yeah, they both are. Dang. I think we can finally nail Balboa. Go for it! Dude's obsessed. I know. So I'm gonna get him, Bimbo. Hey, Ben, what you got in the bag? Oh, he's ready to fight back. Man, I'm gonna pound your teeth out. Go for it! Go ahead! All right, Rocky Jr. Fuck him up. Oh. Oh. Get your jacket back. Yeah. What? I didn't like him anyway. <laughs> think that belongs to me? Yeah. Nice. You want to end this? Let's end it now. Yeah, I got no problems with that. All right. Perfect. Is he going to tell your dad? Yeah. That was great. Yeah. And of course, Rocky's not going to even care. I know. He just won his very first fight. Come on, Rocky, please. Look, I got my coat. That's beautiful. I trash this guy. Oh, hey, listen, I gotta get back with Tommy. Listen, go tell your mom. She'd like to hear things like that. Your mom is not gonna want to hear that. Yeah. That was like your son's proudest moment, and you gave it like two seconds of attention. Oh, uh, come on, Rocky. Glad he has jewels. Yeah. Everybody's got two fists, right? And a good heartbeat. You got a chance. Right? It's like I really like him mentoring and managing Tommy. Yeah. But he can also focus on his son. Yeah. 
Tommy's just walking through people. I like that. Maybe he's trying to get Tommy under his management. Wow. Use it for the birds to shit on. I feel like uh, Tommy wants all of the praise and attention and fame for himself. You come with the Duke, you can get the kind of payday fights Balboa could only dream about. Just taking Tommy away from him. Come on, Tommy, don't get greedy. It ain't worth it, buddy. Uh, you fought a great fight, you know, Polly. You should be sunk, Rocco. How is Polly noticing all of these things? The breakup between Tommy, what's going on with his son? I want to give this to him. What do you think? Oh my God, what? You no, know, he's giving us like a second shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Wow. It's a complex business. What about Rocky? Done a wonderful job. Now look here, here's twenty thousand dollars. What? Rocky can still train you. I'm gonna make all the money though. You know this guy? You got a weird family. Don't I know? Is he friends with the bully he beat up? Right? That's that's the two. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Polly. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. What's the freaking difference? Where I come from is yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's very important that you spend time with the family, you know. And, and... Ooh, haven't spent much time with the family. It ain't last year, and you ain't the same either. Oof. Also, who approved that earring? <laughs> what do I do? Go talk to him. Uh, I think he needs a little bit of space. Even I could have saw this thing happening. Yeah, you did, Polly. He's gonna lose both his sons. <laughs> I never lied to you. Uh, Tommy needed my help. So did I. Scams and deceptions. You're the one that should have watched out. Oh man. Rocky's just hitting rock bottom. When are you coming back? Later. Later. When? Oh no. Oh, contraire, mon ami. Guess what's coming to dinner? Tommy Gunn's got new friends. Just lost his son, and now he's about to lose Tommy. It's time to put some hustle behind his muscle. Well, Tommy boy here's got a little something personal to discuss with you. Like how it's over between the two? Rock, you mind if I talk to you outside about a few things? Oh, yeah, sure. It's getting late. We have to be there by 10. This woman sucks. 22 and 0. Where's the money? Money's going to be there, but this, I'm talking about your rep, Tommy. We don't need this guy. Listen, Duke is a wonderful man. Shut up. Yeah. You took me as far as you could, but Duke gave me my title shot. You did. It's my way. It's the highway. Jeez. Oh. It's not worth it. No, Adrian is worth it. He's... What a shitty night for Rocky. Your son is lost. He needs you. He makes you feel like you're winning again. Rocky, you're losing your family. Jeez. That was nothing but truth by Adrian. I know. She always keeps him grounded. I don't know about you guys. Oh. You ain't gonna hit him, are you? No, you ain't gonna hit him. Jeez. Jules always looking out. <laughs> and I would love to hang out with you again. I swear to God, it's just gonna be you and me this time. Home team? Yeah. Home team. I mean, he just wanted his dad's attention. It's time to wage war! Head's getting too big. Yeah. I feel like he's gonna get just destroyed without Rocky in his corner. Relax, Rocco. He ain't worth the stress. Oh, it looks like the fans are unhappy with Tommy Gunn for leaving Rocky Balboa. Oh, wow. He's nobody's sweetheart. He's nervous, you know. It's the way I felt when I was fighting with Apollo, you know. Rocky still cares about him. Yeah. I mean, Rocky cares about everyone. Yeah. Side to side. Don't eat the jet. <laughs> Ooh. Tommy, what's the matter with your cake? That's it! Jeez. Oh, throw him back into the corner. Jeez, Rocky's about to knock this punching bag off. Come on, Tommy. I'm in there, man. Do what I'm doing. It's interesting, the cuts back and forth. I mean, he was doing that on the sidelines, too. Yeah. Jeez, round one knockout. Oh, man. Ten, you're up, you're up. But all the booze. Yeah. 
How do you feel? Never better. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with these people. I'd like to thank the man who made this happen. The man who's been like an angel on my shoulder. Mr. George, what's the do? Oh, no. Rocky was so excited. He even used Rocky's words. The guy that got him. <sighs> this crowd is not happening. And the only person... I'm glad he's getting booed. Yeah. Little shit. You're chanting Rocky. Too much TV is bad for my ears. <laughs> Aw, oh, Polly. Polly's been amazing this movie so far, except for the very beginning when he lost everything. <laughs> Let's put our teeth around a few brews, okay? Sure. I can lose the company. You can't give me your heart. Oh, it's, it's okay, dude. Really? Yeah. Rocky's always just the most positive guy. Kid, don't you stay up too late, okay? Are you okay? It's like he was in the ring. You know, he's all sweaty. <laughs> it's interesting that we've gone almost the whole movie and Rocky hasn't fought, really. Yeah. Do you think the fight was too easy? Hey, if you get shot. I wonder if it was rigged. Tommy Gunn would have done the same thing if Union was 100%. What? You ever think you're gonna get out from underneath Rocky Balboa's shadow? Man, I beat the best tonight. He doesn't even deserve a shot at the time. Oh my god, these reporters are vicious. Tommy Gunn beat a second-rate fighter with so much glass in his jaw, he ought to be a chandelier. Holy Ooh. shit. Balboa was a true people's champion. But in time, Tommy Gunn may be able to finish you. Tumble him quick. Why don't you fight the redhead in the front row? I hear she comes real cheap. What the f- The hell did you say Balboa was better, man? Do you believe he's better? Next fight, Tommy. Oh. Oh, sorry, redhead. I won the damn town and these people think I'm a bum. When the press is right, they're right. You get the respect you deserve, but what you got to do is challenge Balboa to fight man to man. Fight Balboa? Yeah, to be the greatest fight ever. Man, this is what he wanted all along. Hound you with that man's legend for as long as you dare to wear boxing gloves. Wow. You gotta humiliate him. You gotta do whatever you got to do to get him into that ring. Wow, so the other fight wasn't personal enough for Rocky, so he manufactured as personal a fight as possible. Brilliant by the Duke, but super fucked up. Rocky Balboa, there's a man out here wishing to speak with you. Really? Oh, well, Rocky, you need some help? No, guys, ain't no pie-eating contest. Pie-eating contest? Why, why'd you just diss your friends? <laughs> You're coming down here with these people asking me if I want to throw hands with you? He has no class. Come on, Rob. Yeah, listen to Polly. I just want good things for oh, you. Oh, yeah, you did. This guy here, he was using you for the bait. He wants to get you and me in the ring. Are you prepared to accept Tommy Gunn's challenge? No. I would pay to see Rocky punch this manager. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see Rocky versus Duke. Put your head Tommy's old family. You, you bring these rat bums around here. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Uh oh. Oh. He's the real champ. You're just a goddamn joke. Oh, just get out of here. Bring Tommy. Him. Oh. oh. Hey. Polly? You should have left him on the street where you found him. Oh, <laughs> damn, Polly. Hey. Oh. Rocky. You knocked him down. Why don't you try knocking me down? Tommy Gunn only fights in the ring. Really? He just punched Polly. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on, Tommy. Tommy, let's go live. Move go live. It's gonna have a street brawl. They don't even have gloves. You don't fool me. Take it easy. Tommy's crazy. Uh. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, holy shit. I loved you, man. You and me were supposed to be like this, Tommy. Punch Duke. And I told you never to fight a street fighter fight. So come on, let's get out of here. Oh, oh God, sh Tommy. Hey! <laughs> what the fuck? Tommy's just punching everyone? <laughs> oh, no. Rocky can't take these punches. Oh, oh, great. Is this on TV? And he's fighting. What? <laughs> Adrian is going to have a heart attack. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone step in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> It's like a horror montage. He dies. He dies. Oh my god. He's no machine. I get the end of hell. He loves you. <laughs> what a crazy little sequence that was. Rocky, just be done. Hey! Oh, fuck. I didn't end no bell. I'm not gonna knock you out. I'm gonna put you through the street. <laughs> oh. 
Street Fight. <laughs> oh, fuck. Just punch him in the back of the head like three times. Oh. This isn't the boxing ring. Oh, the fuck? that he's like still coaching him through this. <laughs> right, yeah. You should have done a body shot, Tommy. Touch me now, suit. Oh, shut up, Duke. Do it anyways. <laughs> Where's Adrian? Damn. I knocked up my room! He took my room! He took my room? Yeah, yeah, come on! You lose it, everybody! Come on! <laughs> Headshots. I know. Rocky Six is just gonna be Rocky in a hospital. Rocky! Come on, Jack, go for it! These are some chaotic shots of everyone else. Jeez, Rocky. Let's finish him. Jeez. Y'all flashed the bomb, huh? <laughs> Yeah, go punch Duke. <laughs> Hold on a second. Bang. Judgment I'll suit. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, what are you gonna take? Sue me for what? <laughs> Rocky! Rocky! That's not fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Love him when he does that. I feel like the last like 20 minutes of this movie was just directed by someone else. <laughs> That's who he should have been running with. As long as this thing is here, Pigeons is always gonna have a place to sit, right? <laughs> you know, this is where it all started for me, kid. Something growing here, you got li li like a bump. This bump. Aww. Aww. Thanks, Dad. Uh, thank you for being born. What do you think? You knew me? No. You look like the daughter that I always wanted. <laughs> I never knew there was valuable pictures in this building. I love Picasso. <laughs> well, I love almost everybody. <laughs> That's true. This bad oh, wow. All you own. Trip down memory lane. Yeah. All right. That was Rocky Five. What'd you think? I actually really liked that. I really liked that. In, I would say probably the first three fourths of the movie. And then it just kind of got a little off the rails, but I did like that a lot more than what I was expecting. Yeah, me too. I think we can both agree that last kind of whole fight scene at the end between Tommy and Rocky was just kind of like a hard left. Yeah. Compared to the rest of the movie. I mean, even Tommy's kind of story arc was a little forced, I feel like. Like, it made sense for Rocky Jr. or Robert, I guess, because he's like a kid, so obviously flip-flopping, emotional and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel like Tommy was a weird plot device. So I don't know. It, it just kind of felt very strange that he ended up fighting Tommy in a street brawl. And then the way that that was shot, like, some of the shots where it would cut to some people in the uh, like crowd, it, it was almost like it was centered like on their face, but everything else around them was like moving crazy. And like having just the father randomly show up <laughs> at the end, it was just like, hey, I love that. Like <laughs> it was it was a weird ending, but the beginning of this movie, I actually really thought it was very clever. I mean, it took something that was very realistic about the movie, him having brain damage after all of these intense fights. Mm -hmm. And it made this very deep and serious story of kind of Rocky trying to cling to boxing through Tommy, living through him, kind of like how he talked about living like a kid through his son. Mm -hmm. It was really, really emotional and engaging. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you. I think the next step in all of these Rocky films, it made the most sense that we went to coaching. Yeah. Obviously, I think it was going to happen that somebody was going to take advantage of Rocky and that's what happened and they ended up losing everything and it took him back to his roots. Yeah. Took his son there where he had never been before. Yeah. Um, so that was like a really interesting dynamic that we got to see more of Rocky Jr. Who I'm just realizing that is actually Rocky's son. I mean, Stallone's. Oh shit, that's who Sage Stallone is. Yeah. 
Oh, he did a great job. Yeah, he did a really good job. I didn't realize that. We obviously, we commented on the beginning that it said Sage Salone, but I didn't know who that was going to be. Yeah. So that's actually really cool that that is his son. Yeah. But it was really cool to kind of get to see that in the struggle that Rocky Jr. was kind of going through. It's bad enough to kind of be in a whole new city. Um, I mean, he's really probably lost a lot of his like material, like personal belongings. Uh -huh. Then you're going to stick him in a brand new school. Obviously, kids are so cruel, and you have you now his dad and the papers that he's bankrupt and all of the things. So it was cool to see him kind of training, even though it was like very much in the background, but watching him train uh, at Mickey's place. Right. And kind of coming up and being able to defend himself in the school setting and get his jacket back. Yeah. That was cool. I think it was very interesting to see how Rocky put so much into Tommy. Mm -hmm. And then Polly is kind of there seeing all of this unfold. And I think Adrian as well, realizing that Rocky Jr. is just kind of getting left behind, mm -hmm. especially when he really needed his dad more than anything now that they had lost everything. It was very emotional. I mean, to see, it, it was so obvious to everyone. The fact that Polly was one of the most observant people person, whatever, in this movie is wild. Yeah. Yeah, he fucked up with the accountant, but I guess that blame should be on the accountant who kind of scammed Polly. Yeah. But yeah, Polly noticing what was going on with Rocky Jr., Polly noticing what was going on with Tommy mm -hmm. and kind of how they were, the boat was sinking. Mm -hmm. It just felt like such a real and grounded movie. I mean, it's showing scenes in the credits of Rocky 1, and it feels like Rocky 1. We went back to the basics. Mm -hmm. The first two Rockies are very, I want to say, believable and kind of in reality, and kind of the story of this underdog mentality. And then Rocky 3 and 4 are incredibly entertaining, but they get a little bit more exaggerated with yeah. what's going on in the story. Mm -hmm. So for the beginning of this movie to really kind of strip all of that away, I really enjoyed kind of that direction that they were going. Yeah, it went off the rails towards the end of the movie, <laughs> but I could also see why people probably don't like this as much as any of the other Rockies because the Rocky movies were kind of on this trend of being more exaggerated. Mm -hmm. You would expect Rocky V to be like a rematch with Drago like on the moon, like <laughs> like some crazy story or something yeah. like that. So this movie, you know, kind of slammed on the brakes, went back to the beginning, but then you didn't have some other things. Like we didn't have Rocky fighting anything until the end. Yeah. He didn't have like the training montages we had uh, that very kind of dark and scary montage. Yeah, that was like weird. That was like, like the blood yeah, down Rocky's face. That was filmed and... by like a horror director or something <laughs> yeah. like that. But I could see why. There was elements of Rocky that were missing in this movie. Everything that we're talking about in the beginning of the movie, I really liked. I mean, just that relationship between him and his son and how fragile that could possibly be. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I loved most about the Rocky series that was in the first Rocky a lot was Rocky's positivity. Yeah, which we really got to see throughout all of this. Yeah, he's always positive. He always wants the best for everyone. Even when Tommy left him, he's in the basement cheering Tommy on like the proud coach he is. Mm -hmm. It was great to kind of see that. And another thing that was really great was how much Rocky and Adrian leaned on each other in this movie. Mm -hmm. Rocky IV, I feel like Adrian was in that movie for like a minute or something. Yeah, I mean, they had the awesome moment where Adrian came to Russia and she was like there and that was kind of the turning point for him in yeah. his training. But really, that was the extent of the Adrian Rocky relationship that we got in Rocky Four. Yeah. Whereas this, I mean, how many times was Adrian just sticking up for Rocky mm -hmm. because of a very serious issue? I mean, permanent brain damage. Yeah. So Adrian had so many just MVP moments when she was talking on the phone to Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I already forgot what she said. But I don't remember either, but that was awesome. I remember after she hung up, I was like, damn, Adrian. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Adrian always comes in clutch. She always balances Rocky out. And I feel like, I mean, that's part of the reason that I love these films so much is I love their relationship. Yeah. So it was cool to get to see a lot more of that now again in this film. Also, I feel like the Duke was pretty probably one of the worst villains that we've had in the Rocky franchise. Yeah, I didn't even really put it together until almost the end of the movie that mm. 
the Duke was strategically making it more emotional for Rocky. Yeah, I mean, he used Tommy completely yeah. in order to get Tommy and Rocky to fight. He just, all he wanted was Rocky to fight. He didn't care about Tommy at all, which, no. I mean, I don't think there was any question. He didn't care about Tommy. I mean, Duke didn't care about really anybody. He just wanted to make money. Yeah, he just wanted a big payday. But he was like one of the worst villains. Like I was just... That was satisfying to watch Rocky just <laughs> yeah. punch him in the gut. Sue me for what? Yeah. As the father cheers on. <laughs> <laughs> Right at the end. So that was really interesting. I am kind of bummed about Tommy, though. I feel like yeah. watching the Duke be the villain was one thing. But then Tommy, like, he's coming from nothing. He he saved up all of his money, came across the country-ish, half the country, <laughs> um, and to get trained by Rocky. And they really were, like, as much as Rocky needed to be there for Rocky Jr., he was creating such, like, a father-son or, like, a Mickey-Rocky relationship with Tommy. Yeah. So that was such a bummer to see him just, like, peace out. And I feel like that's the, the story arc that I, I don't really enjoy is that I was really excited about that Mickey kind of Rocky relationship with Rocky in the Mickey role. Yeah. I thought Tommy was a great character. Yeah. You know, he was really raw, but extremely strong. Yeah. He was very motivated and hungry and, you know, waited outside to talk to Rocky. I was really hopeful that Tommy would kind of be led astray because the Duke was so smart setting these scams or what, what the de deception. Yeah. And I was hoping for some sort of reunion or something with Rocky and Tommy where Tommy realized how shitty things were or, yeah. or the Duke taking advantage and I was hopeful for Rocky to repair the relationship with his son and also repair the relationship with Tommy mm -hmm. and that's what we were moving forward with but now it feels like Tommy was just made the bad guy just to have someone for Rocky to beat up. Yeah, and I mean, really, you have Tommy in the biggest fight of his life, and it turns out that it's like, oh, well, you didn't you didn't fight the real champ, and then the entire time that he was fighting, from the second that he came out, he was getting booed. Yeah. It was getting to him that he was being called like the clone of Rocky and all of this, but also it's like, you're training with the best. So it was sad to watch him just like spiral down so quick over some like redhead. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, if you're being compared to the best, yeah, the puppet stuff sure would get under your skin. But I mean, there was headlines that was like Balboa clone. Like if you're getting compared to the best fighter in the world in this universe, that's very high praise. Yeah, the Duke knew how to turn that on its head. Yeah. And make Tommy resent Rocky. But it like, what is Rocky Six? Is that a rematch with Tommy? I mean, Tommy's just got shitted on essentially. Like he got booed. No one thinks his title is legitimate. And then he just got beat up by his manager in the street. Yeah. Like who's ever going to take Tommy seriously? His career is ruined. So. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking we might not see Tommy again, but Tommy does actually still have the title. So there is a chance that we will see him in Rocky Balboa. Yeah. I wish it was, it ended with a, a Mickey and Rocky Rocky one situation where there was issues between Mickey and Rocky that they fought over and they got through that and then they ended up being an amazing team. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Rocky, he doesn't have Mickey anymore. He doesn't have Apollo anymore. I thought this was going to be his opportunity to kind of mentor and bring someone up. Obviously he could do it with his son, but his son's not going to be a professional boxer for who knows however many years, yeah. and he might not even want to do that. I mean, every chance he get, he's drawing really nice, <laughs> really nice drawings. <laughs> of his French teacher. Of his French teacher, <laughs> and a, apparently a nice English teacher. But, you know, I don't think that's the path that Robert or Rocky Jr. Want, wants to go on. Yeah. So it's a bummer, for sure. I don't feel like super happy or like motivated or something like every other rocky movie I, i'm like man i gotta go work out that was awesome yeah. this uh, i'm just kind of like okay rocky just beat up some dude in the street yeah the fight scene was interesting but like you said too i loved like the first like three-fourths of the film yeah. and the end wasn't awful it just kind of took a turn that yeah. i wasn't expecting but i do have to say i was really loving seeing mickey again in yes. like the flashback scenes i mean everyone really was fantastic. Rocky was amazing kind of showing that positivity, even though he's probably in the worst place in his life. Adrian, how powerful she was in this movie and how supportive and how much she meant to Rocky. 
that was amazing. I've never liked Polly more yeah. in any movie with how observant and even Polly like talking back to Tommy and taking a pretty mean shot and still like not being knocked out. No. And Sage was amazing in mm -hmm. this. Everything was great about this movie. It just took a weird turn that I wish went in a different direction. Yeah, but I will say that I, I've loved every film so far. Yeah. Um, we only have one left. One left in the Rocky series. And then we have two Creed films. So I'm super excited for the next film, see kind of where they take it from, I think what we've read in the comments, it seems like Rocky Balboa or Rocky Six is a highlight yeah. for a lot of people. So I liked this and I'm really excited to watch the next one. By no means do I think this is a terrible movie mm -hmm. or anything. And kind of like we said, there's a ton in this movie that we really, really liked, really enjoyed. Some highlights throughout the entire series for me. So I'm still very much interested to see what the heck happens in Rocky VI because I've seen Creed and I have a few memories of Creed, but not enough to understand what the heck's gonna happen in Rocky VI. And I have not seen Rocky Balboa or either of the Creed films. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, me too, a lot more to experience. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.